little viewer, welcome to Dillman FM, where me, the Dillman, uh, attempts to play Football Manager 2019. Um, two things you should know. First, maybe most importantly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, as you can see, I've started one uh, game, one save, just to see what the game was about. I've watched some videos of other people. Uh, playing the game, and uh, that's about it. Uh, I've played FIFA before, never really played Football Manager, so I'm going to uh, start a new career. Uh, oh, the other thing, I suppose I said two things, um, is that um, I'm going to take it kind of slow. Um, I, you know, a lot of these uh, professional, or more professional, longer standing uh, gamers on YouTube, they skip a lot of things, um, and while I like that as a viewer uh, in some ways, I also don't like it because I'm not really learning how to play the game, I'm mostly just watching for the fun and the story of it, so my approach is going to be a little bit more, you're going to see everything I'm doing to some degree, uh, so hopefully, uh, hopefully you like that. So I'm going to start a new game, I'm starting with my AFC Wimbledon, uh, mostly because uh, it seems like a fun place to start. Um, I'm just check the advanced stu advanced setup stuff um, because I want to know how to do everything. Um, all right, so leagues that are active contain more players. Um, okay, so let's see. Is anything specifically? Recommended based on AFC Wimbledon. So nothing is recommended. Alright, I'm going to stay in the UK um, to make things a little simpler. I'm going to use the USA because obviously that's where I'm from. Um, and I think that's it. I think that's all of the UK. Um, yeah. That works for me. Let's go with that. Uh, boom. Okay. Medium database. I'm going to go with the large because I think my computer can handle it. So that's fine with me. Um, do not use real fixtures. No, I want that. Key staff. Uh, no, I guess I want to do that myself. I'll just leave all these settings basically as it is. Um, let's see. Yeah, start at the beginning. Even though I am tempted to start at this exact moment, AFC Wimbledon is looking like garbage. So I'm tempted to take it over like right now uh, and see you know what I could do with the team. But I also feel like that's going to mean we're going to get relegated. So I'm going to try and save us from relegation, which is not happening in real life. So start the game. It was a 15 leagues from six nations with a large database. Um, okay, let's do it. Exciting stuff. I hope that you especially like watching the loading screens because, I mean, that's the most riveting stuff. Um, in fact, I might just skip this a little, a little quick cut. Um, yeah, let's do that. I'll be right back. Boom, and we're back. Now that was a fast loading time. So here we are, our first day, our first couple of emails in our inbox. Uh, first one is from Eliza Ferguson, who's the press officer. Uh, so she is forwarding the following news article. It says, Thompson Von Brendel takes AFC Wimbledon hot seat. In a move being dubbed a huge surprise by many, AFC Wimbledon board have named a virtually unknown American head coach with no prior experience as their new boss. That's me. <laughs> Dylan Thompson von Brendel turns 34 next birthday, was introduced to fans and journalists alike at Cherry Red Records Row uh, Stadium uh, this morning and declared that he is ready for the challenge. Uh, I was looking forward to earning their trust in the weeks and months ahead. Replaces previous head coach Neil Ardley. Sorry, Neil. Um, all right, welcome. So, Eric Samuelson, the president, is welcoming me, formally welcoming me. Uh, board would like to assure me that I can rely on their full backing. They're looking forward to working with me in terms of contract. They've given me a deal until next year, 90000 per year. I'll take it. 
Uh, assistant coach Neil Cox is responsible for offloading players that you've placed on unwanted list and head of youth development Jeremy Sauer will look to loan out those placed on the development list. Staff members from the previous regime have been retained, but they will accept the mutual termination of their contract should you wish to bring in your own coaching staff. Um, in order to aid with the transition... Eric Samuelson, which is him, so he himself is talking about himself in the third person. I think it's third person. Uh, and your assistant coach, Neil Cox, would like to hold meetings with you regarding the club, its history, and the delegation of staff responsibilities. Attending just Cox's meeting will signal your intention not to meet with the board at this time. Um, so let's attend the meeting. Let's see how this goes. Um, okay, I only have one option. He says, welcome to AFC Wimbledon. I'll take a few minutes of your time to welcome you to the club before handing over to your assistant coach, who's going to discuss staff responsibilities. I also want to assure you that you have the full backing of the board, and we wouldn't have hired you if we didn't feel that you were the right person to propel the club forward. I'm going to say, because it's my only option, great, let's get this meeting started. I'm looking forward to working with this club and achieving big things. I also appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to welcome me in person. AFC Wimbledon, Eric says, have been around a while, and I think it would be good for you to familiarize yourself with the history of the club. I can send an overview of the club's history to your inbox if you'd like. Um... For me, the offer is much appreciated, but uh, AFC Wimbledon are a club I have close affinity with, so I'm already familiar with the rich history there. If you're not, um, I'll put a link in the doobly-doo down below uh, so you can take a look at the rich history of AFC Wimbledon. Um, as was mentioned in your welcome message, the club has no philosophies which you will be judged on during your time at the club. Would you like to arrange a meeting to suggest philosophies you are passionate about for the board to consider approving? Um, sure. Um, it's traditional to hold a press conference when signing a new head coach. Would you like us to set one up for you in the next day or so? Absolutely. Uh, thanks for answering my question. I'm now going to hand the meeting over to your assistant coach, who's got a few things to talk to you about. On a final note, the club has many responsibilities which can either be handled by yourself or other members of the staff. Feel free to adjust the staff responsibilities within the club as you see fit. Um, I hope you have a long and successful. Let's delay that meeting until this afternoon. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Neil, look at that picture. Looks like he's motivating people uh, in that exact moment. He says, Hi Dylan, I'm Neil Cox, your assistant coach. I've got some questions to ask you regarding the day-to-day -day running of the team. Firstly, before we talk about team policies, do you want to arrange an intra-squad friendly for tomorrow to allow you to assess the players in both squads? Uh, sh yes. Yep. Sure. Okay, I've set up the intra-squad friendly as you asked. It's been scheduled for tomorrow. I've also written a report for you regarding the team. Would you like me to send it to you? Definitely. You're so helpful, Neil. Um, would you like me to arrange a meeting? It's probably because he's afraid I'm going to fire him otherwise. Um, would you like me to arrange a meeting with the rest of your staff uh, where they will discuss the current state of the club and provide relevant advice? Definitely want that. Would you like me to help you with any tasks at the club? Um, I'm going to say I know where to find you if I need anything else. Okay, cheers, Dylan. I'll see you later. Thanks, Neil. All right. This concludes this meeting. You know where to find us. Great. Um, all right. Tactics induction. I'm going to skip this. If you have any questions about the inductions uh, in this game, uh, there's plenty of videos out there. So um, I took them in my previous thing just to get a little bit acquainted with the game. Um, all right, so our first uh, email from Neil Cox this motivating assistant coach of ours, he says, I've compiled a brief report on the club's recent signings and current obligations in the transfer market. So we transferred Wordsworth, 
McDonald, Wagstaff, Pinnock, Thomas, and Hansen. We've loaned Jervis, King, Prington, Watson, Garrett, and Kaja out. Um, okay, cool. That's a lot of our players from loan, which is fine. Um, yeah, okay. So... Let's see, yep, okay, contract info, summary, six pros, five cons, in the coach summary, okay, um, there's, I don't need to go to the loans there, injury update, we've got uh, Nightingale uh, coming off of a torn ankle ligament, we've got a couple other people coming off but are much more uh, ready to play it looks like, uh, Stuart Douglas, uh, who's my head physio, apparently, says he's happy to report the ASC Wimbledon squad I have inherited is close to a clean bill of health. On average, I would expect to see around 64 injuries per season within the first team squad. That's very specific, Stuart, but I appreciate it. Um, as the season progresses, I will keep you up to date with how we are doing in comparison with the average as well as the rest of the league. Our sports scientist, Jason Moriarty, Moriarty uh, will also keep track of each individual player's injury risk throughout the season and report back regularly. Um, can you continue to monitor the player's health? Cool, I don't see any like blue or purple uh, buttons, so I'm assuming that I don't need to do any of those things right now. Responsibilities. Um, while you're ultimately responsible for the team's results, you're able to delegate responsibilities. All right, yeah, let's look at this real quick. So, uh, hire fire general manager, definitely me. Hire fire youth development. I'm going to take control of the hiring and the firing of the staff. Transfers. Find and make offers for players for your first team. Yes. Um, I'm going to switch the youth to Mr. Jeremy Sauer. Uh, handle new signings, sure. Youth team, Jeremy. Finalize first team signings, sure. Finalize, give that to Jeremy. Uh, transfer outgoing, let's just keep that rolling, huh? Jeremy, you're my boy. Keeping my youth squad going. Um, contract renewals, which first team player contracts to extend, yes. Youth, Jeremy. Right, if general manager should be given a new contract and handle negotiations, that's me for sure. Uh, if all other staff should be given, yep, that's me too. Scouting is apparently me. Um, training plan, general training for first team. Set up individual training for first team. Yep, okay. Uh, Head coach, head coach, sweet. That seems pretty normal then that the head coach uh, takes training. Uh, youth uh, development, that's Jeremy again. So um, and I'm just going to see if there's more options. Pep talks me, tactical briefings. Um, I'm going to give that to the old Neil Cox. Uh, press conferences, that's me. New signing, yes. Tunnel, yes. Opposition instructions. I'm going to give that to Neil. Um, take control of friendly matches. Yes. And these are already uh, someone else's. Under 23s. I'm assuming those are pretty good. Backroom advice. Get advice from Neil. Um, I want these to happen a little more frequently. Um, whoop. Every week. Every week, every week, every week. Contextual advice, definitely. I don't want it to just be random. Uh, personal assistant, this all looks... The, uh, yeah, that looks... Would you offer a player to other clubs? When you offer, alert clubs he's available for an unspecified. Yeah, that's fine. Allow him to play in the reserve team. Um, okay, confirm all that. So let's go back to the inbox. All right, we've got all that going. Preseason preparation. Players are due to return for preseason training today, and now would be a good time for you to review your plans for them. Um, 
during preseason a schedule that greatly increases fatigue will benefit the player's fitness. With them being able to stave off fatigue longer into the season itself and reduce the chances of becoming jaded. During the season itself, a schedule that greatly increases fatigue will increase the chance of players becoming jaded. Okay. Um, initial preseason. Um, okay, so he's recommending tactical, which is. Can I just like. Can I go up and down? Okay, so let's see. So that's injury risk is higher. Yeah, tactical makes sense there. Um, yeah, that all looks good. Friendlies, preseason, cool. That all works for me. Okay, Neil says, backroom staff have assessed the fitness and condition of the playing squad upon their return for preseason training. Following players have reported back in top condition. Wordsworth, Appia, Soares, Barcham, and Trotter. Following players have reported back injured. Classic. Classic Will. Um, Ballatown have rejected the offer from AFC Wimbledon for a friendly match. Uh, simply too busy. <sighs> Whatever, Bala. Not going to be on my video then, I guess. Um, all right, so Eliza, our press officer, let me bring you up to date on the signings during summer so far. Um, yeah, none of this is going to apply to me, but I really appreciate it. Um, Eliza, keep me up to date on that. All right, in order to help you evaluate the situation at the club, I will maintain a report on the strengths and weaknesses of our squad with input from the entire staff. My current report is attached below. So, strengths. Let's just go through a couple of these. Jumping reach. Cool. I guess that's great. Impressive jumpers. That's uh, good. Uh, youth prospects. There are a number of talented young prospects. Good. Uh, Deji Ojalaja, who's our captain, I believe, uh, is basically the best at everything defensive, long throws, generally possess a number of players who can take long throws. Cool. Um, let's just see. Okay, it's pretty even. I don't know if they do that on purpose or not. Let's look at the weaknesses. The biggest weakness is our transfer budget, which is always going to be the case with AFC Wimbledon. Uh, just 65000 left in the transfer budget. There isn't much room for maneuver on that front. And our overall depth, okay, not a great deal of quality depth outside of the first team amongst players currently at the club. Um, okay, attack depth specifically, midfield depth second specifically, uh, and then midfield depth. So and I guess that's probably where I should focus first then, is maybe find another striker and maybe a couple, a central midfielder and a left wing midfielder. All right, that's good enough for now. Introductory advice. As requested, I've compiled my introductory report on the squad for your assistance. Well, thank you, Neil. Uh, this is the summary. You're, of course, free to advise on how often you wish to receive these reports. I already told you once a week. Don't make me say it again, Neil. Um, okay, so uh, it looks like these things already happened because I can't... Wait, can I just apply? Oh, I can. Um, right? Is that what happened? Uh, add taker. Sure. I don't know if I'm actually doing the right thing here, but I'm hitting the apply area, hoping that that works. So, cool. All right, and Ben Fosuin, Fos uh, sorry, Ben, if I'm butchering your name, uh, my scout uh, says, uh, in order to help you get started on reshaping the squad you have inherited, I wish to draw your attention to our scouting center. Uh, from there, you can set your general focus to inform the scouts as to what type of players you wish to be suggested into your scouting center. Uh, the scouts will grade the players with an overall recommendation, which is calculated using various factors including ability, potential cost, and interest. 
The board have indicated that they will allow the scouting of players within UK and Ireland. Okay. And the scouting budget will be used to pay for senior youth packages and any individual scouting trips. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So let's look at the scouting center then. All right, we've already got uh, one person. Um, for my previous knowledge, I recommend taking a closer look at Josh Barrett of Reading. I recommend scouting Barrett further and believe he would be a good signing. All right. Um, yep, so keep scouting then. Yep, cool. Um, all right, let's look at assignments. He was known talent. Um, he is my next opposition guy. My chief data analyst is doing that. And David Walsh has a general focus with no current assignment. So, I mean, am I, should I sign or assign him something? David Walsh, um, let's see, can I assign him something? Scout assignments. Okay, create new assignment. Ah, so let's say we want to look for a first team player, a uh, backup player. Yeah, backup player um, in this spot. Uh, I think we want, and it, well, let's do any role. Uh, transfer type. Um, I want to find someone that's out of contract. So there's transfer loan and end of contract. So let's try that to start. Add competition or location. Scouting range, is that a thing? No. Entire scouting range, yes. Thank you. Uh, attributes, uh, I'm not going to be too specific about that. Additional conditions. Uh, nope, none of that specific uh, duration until finished. Start that. Yeah, find me a backup striker. Okay, cool. All right, so that's uh, day one here. Uh, I'm going to go and go through my, uh, you know what, I'm going to cut it there. Uh, this is going to be the end of episode one. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I hope you like seeing kind of the in-between stuff that a lot of the, the other gamers uh, cut out. Um, let me know in the comments below if you like that sort of thing or if you think I should cut a little bit more of it out. Um, I'm, I'm very open to suggestion. Um, yeah, do uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it or if you didn't like it, leave a thumbs down. I appreciate that as well. Uh, if you do leave a thumbs down, um, let me know in the comments why, what, what didn't you like about it. Uh, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.